Hi everybody, it's Lori Manns with QualityMediaConsultants.com where we help entrepreneurs and small business owners to get more clients, more brand visibility, and create more revenue in their business in less time. Well today I want to talk to you about hair. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well listen, if you follow me and you follow this channel, you know that this is not my normal do. So, hey, I'm rocking a new do. It's the natural look, and um, I'm going to roll with it because guess what? I am sporting the I Am Not My Hair. You know, the song that India Ari came up with to not, you know, have people to identify her with a certain type of hair or whatever. So, this is your girl's natural look, and I'm rocking it. Hey, I'm going to let it do what it do. But listen, today I really want to talk to you about events and how you can make money from your events. All right. So as you know, I always give you some tips to help you out. And today I'm going to give you some tips as to how you monetize events and make money in your business. So you know as well as I do, if you're not making money from your events, then really you should just have a party at your house. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that you can make some really good money from events and event marketing. So whether you hold your own events or you attend other people's events, always monetize your presence at an event, okay? Make sure that you are making money at every event that you attend. So let me give you these tips. And the first tip is you can monetize your events by ticket sales and or registrations. So with ticket sales, of course, you're going to have to use a ticket house. And there are a few that uh, are the big ones, Ticket Alternative and Ticket Master. Well, you can use a smaller one if you like, but those are some of the ones that are more um, well known. And um, of course, there is a fee for using them, but those are places where you can get tickets printed and they will also um, sell them for you to your event. OK, and also you can do, you know, a non ticketed event and you can have registrations online and some of those. Uh, websites that you can utilize are Event B and Event Bright. Now, the advantage to using online registrations is you don't have to fool with a, a, a physical ticket. You know, you don't have to fool with that. And you can just let people go online, register, pay online, and print out their own ticket. And you also get a custom URL so that you can promote that on your website, on your social media, etc. So that's the biggest way you can monetize your events is through ticket sales and registrations. Now, tip number two is I want you to think about pre-sale and post-sale. OK, so pre-sale is like the front end things that you can do to make money from your events and post sale is the back end stuff that you can utilize to make money from your events. So the pre sale or the front end stuff is things like um, materials that you can sell, whether it's CDs, t shirts, you know, shashki kind of stuff, whatever it is that you can sell materials that are training materials, um, workshop materials, uh, books, all that kind of stuff. You can sell that actually at your event. And you can even pre-sell it online before you get to your event, okay? And then the post-sale and the back-end stuff is what you do after the event. Sometimes you get speaking engagements and um, appearances that are offered to you. If you go to someone else's event, you get offered to speak at certain other events. That's happened to me before. You know, I go to speak to one group and then someone from that group sees me there and they invite me to come speak at another group. So that's a way that I can monetize that speaking engagement. OK, and it's the same for you. So that's tip number two. Utilize front end and back end sales um, optimization. OK, now tip number three is I want you to think about affiliates. Affiliates are the people who are kind of like your brand ambassadors because they are going to sell tickets for your event because they're going to be looking to get paid a portion of the ticket sales. But look, the benefit is that you only have to pay them if they sell 
tickets, right? So you, you agree to pay them 10, 15, 20% of the ticket price that they sell. And um, hey, they also promote your event for you. So they can also be, you know, like your promotions type crew, if you will. So the affiliates is the third way you can monetize your events. All right, so the fourth way, of course, is if you have vendors and or exhibitors. Now, I really love vendors and exhibitors because they pay in advance and they pay a premium, you know, to have a table or a booth set up at your event. Now, you're going to love vendors and exhibitors because they bring a little something special to your event and they help to give you some credibility because they want your audience. They want to be able to, to sell to your audience. And then also they're going to promote that they're going to be at your event. So that's another way that you can get your event marketed to the masses because your vendors and exhibitors are going to be telling their friends and their network that they're going to be at your event. But you charge the vendors and exhibitors more than what you would charge your attendees and less than what you would charge your sponsors. So, Tip number five is to sell sponsors. This is my favorite way to monetize your events because sponsors are awesome. Sponsors are going to give you that instant credibility better than any vendor could because typically sponsors are business owners, whether they're small business owners or Fortune 500 or you know companies or organizations and they're going to pay bigger dollars and they're going to be looking to partner with you they're going to be looking to um, reach that audience that you have coming to your event so your sponsors are going to be able to give you so much more because guess what the sponsors usually want to partner with you in ways that vendors can't and don't have the capacity to do so that's it. Those are your five tips in terms of how you can monetize your events. Of course, if you need more help in this area, please contact me. And um, you can reach me at qualitymediaconsultants.com. And as always, if you like this video, it helped you, please subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment be below and let me know what you think. And also check me out on social media. You can find me at Facebook Quality Media Consultant Group and also Lori Manns and Twitter Miss Quality Media and the after party is always on my blog so please check it out leave a comment there as well and I hope to see you next time thanks so much and I'll talk to you soon